the, uh, the problem is severe enough that I have decided to take on the portfolio of Secretary of Agriculture, at least uh, for now. And at least until we can reorganize the uh, Department of Agriculture uh, in the way that it will make it ready for the next years to come. Marami tayong mga kailangang palitan, uh, marami tayong mga uh, medyo naging mga, dip, mga iba't ibang opisina na hindi na masyadong nagagamit o kailangan nang i-retool para sa post-pandemic. Uh, dahil nga iba na yung ating ginagawa ngayon, bumabalik tayo or going back to basics, ilang beses nyo na sa aking narinig ito, back to basics, we're going back to basics and trying and we will rebuild the value chain of agriculture. And that is why I thought it's important that the President take, the, uh, take that portfolio so that um, not only to, to make it clear to everyone what, uh, what a high priority we put on the agricultural sector, but also as a practical matter so that things move quickly uh, because the events of the global economy are moving very quickly. We have to be able to be agile. We have to be able to respond uh, uh, properly in a measured way uh, as soon as there is a situation that needs to be addressed. So that's essentially, uh, that's essentially uh, what we discussed, and that is, the, uh, that is my announcement uh, for, for today. I will take a few questions. Yes. Ladies uh, first. Since you are taking on the portfolio as Secretary of EA, what will be your marching orders? What will be the priorities specifically in order to uh, to secure uh, this uh, food crisis that we are already in? There, there are many there are many priorities that we have to attend to simultaneously. Uh, first of all, will be to try and increase production as we come into the planting period, uh, the harvest period uh, after, the, after the rainy season, uh, during, before and after the rainy season. Uh, hopefully, we can counteract some of the increases uh, in prices. You, you may have noted that uh, uh, Thailand and Vietnam, for example, uh, one of our uh, main sources of imported rice, have uh, decided to uh, ban uh, their rice exports, at least for now. So we have to compensate for that by in hopefully in by increasing production here in the Philippines. So that's one. The other priority, uh, which is equally important, although it is a long term, uh, it is a long term process, is the restructuring of the Department of Agriculture. Um, as I have me mentioned many times before. Many of the agencies have changed their function over the years, and uh, maybe it's time to return them. I talk about uh, the places, uh, the uh, or, uh, organizations like the NFA, the FTI, the Kadiwa, uh, which we have already started to see, especially at the local level. But we have to restructure the actual, um, the actual um, uh, department uh, so as to be more responsive to uh, the global situation now when it comes to food supply.